Today, we'll explore the Baseball Management Controller, aka BMC. This is critical to server management. Without this feature, it would make it very hard to detect issues on thousands of servers. Every server motherboard has a chip called the BMC chip, which is a SOC, system on a chip, which is independent from the main CPU, RAM, and OS of the server. Imagine if your OS disk just stopped working suddenly. SSH would be down as it runs on the main OS. That's where BMC would be helpful as you get a terminal up and running to see where it's currently at. You could also see system event logs, AKA SEL, and see if the disk is being detected by the system. One thing to keep in mind is that there are two ways of implementing connection to the BMC. One is shared, where it shares the same physical cable with the network card or network interface card. This saves on cost, but there's no redundancy. If the cable went bad, typically in the server space, fiber optics are used, which can commonly fail due to higher loads, heat, and etc. This is where having a dedicated switch connected to the BMC ports of all your servers and it being on a dedicated network would be beneficial. And this is called out of band, as it's another way to access your server without going through the main network. The switch is often called console switch, management switch. The BMC uses the IPMI protocol, which is an open standard, but some companies may use their own proprietary commands to interact with their specific firmware on BMC. As IPMI can be used, the functionality might be limited to certain standards. As Dell uses iDRAC, it does have a lot more functionality. The newest standard being used is the Redfish protocol, which is the RESTful API. It's vendor agnostic, so it doesn't matter what vendor it is, Dell, America Megatrends, Lenovo, um, any other type of vendor, it's able to translate the commands into something that the BMC can understand. All right, let's jump into the command line. Now that we're in the command line, we're going to be using some IPMI tool commands. We can see we type in IPMI tool system event log list. This will show you all the system event logs. We can see here that we have one particularly called physical security. This tells you if your server has been opened or closed. We also have a lot of power supplies. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna jump in and we're gonna check IPMI tool SDR type 0x08. This is gonna tell you the power supply information. Now we can see here that it says presence detected. This just means that the power supply is physically detected in the server, but there's no cable connected to it, which that's why it says power supply AC lost. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna look at the last log in the system event log. We can see that it says asserted. That's the very last log that it shows, which is presence detected. Now what we're going to do, I'm gonna disconnect the actual server, PSU. Okay, it's gonna take a little bit of time to populate, but let's see if it shows up. We can see here it says power supply AC lost. Now, if we check the actual logs, we can see it's deasserted. Presence detected is deasserted. That means that it's not connected. Now it's connected back. I'll give it a second. The server's right next to me, so I can do it real quick. As you can see here now, it says power supply AC lost. It still says that. I have to wait. Okay, now it's showing the PSU. It's up again, PSU detected. Uh, and then power supply AC is lost because obviously I didn't connect the cable to it. As you can see now, it's asserted, meaning that presence is detected. So this is how you can check your system event logs and correlation to things that happen in your system. Now I'm typing the sensors command. This will show you all the sensors in your system, like temperatures and things like that. You can also like change the actual thresholds. I'll show you in a second. As you can see here, when I type in IPMI tool sensor, you can type in thresh or you can just type in enter to get the commands. Threshold, the way this one works is that you actually have to get the ID of the sensor and then you're able to like change like the upper critical and things like that. Now, when we type in SDR, you can see by itself, it prints like a default list of like sensors and things like that or what it can read. One thing I can do, just type in SDR normally or SDR type. And we can see here that you get tons of different types of sensors. I'm gonna type in battery. Okay, let me type that one more time. I think it's case sensitive, 
but I did forget the type. Yeah, I did forget the type. So SDR, ty SDR type, then battery. But remember, it's very case sensitive, so remember that. As you can see, we got some readings, we got the CMOS battery, and we got another battery that was detected. All right, let's see what other ones that we can do. Okay, we'll do physical security. Let's see if I can type that in correctly. Okay, so now as you can see that it ex I have to put in the little quotations because it actually is accepting it as two arguments, which I don't want that. It should be one word. Now when I do that, it says okay, which is good. That means my server is not opened. Now we're gonna clear the screen. And then we do IPMI tool. Let's do user list. We can see on channel one, the users there, we can see mine, which is admin as administrator. But remember, it depends on the channel that you're checking. So my configuration is on channel one. Now I can do LEN print one. It gives me the actual settings of my configuration. And if I do IPMI tool, if I do IPMI tool through list, we can see here that it gives you some more information about the motherboard, the serial number, and then we can see the power supply, how you get the serial number, part number, which is actually really important if I wanna do a like for like replacement. Now if I do IPMI tool, right, and I add MC info to it, you get the BMC information. I know it's Dell, I don't have iDRAC installed, but now that I type in IPMI tool, we type in raw. Remember, these raw commands are very specific, so you have to kind of be careful of what you're typing in, just because each manufacturer is a little bit different in how they do things. As you can see here, there's tons of options. Um, by looking through here, uh, the most common ones that we're running through, like IPMI tool chases, this is a very common one. If we do in status, you can see the status is on, which is power on. You can also check the boot device. And you can also uh, change the boot device. So I can put PXC. I can also do disk. I can also do uh, other options if I like. Now, just in general, just type in IPMI tool. We can see there's tons of other things that you can do. Some of the things we don't use, it just depends on the BMC, what it supports, and also what capabilities that you have. Like I said, I have a DREC iDRAC machine. As you can see, all these are the ones, these are the common ones that you use for most systems. But iDRAC has more functionality that the common BMC standard doesn't have. So that's why it's important to install the native, native tools for your system. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys really like this content, the baseboard management or BMC content, let me know. There's not much out there. Like I said, especially in the server space, this is very, very important. Please leave a comment below and I look forward to making more videos.